Are you having desaturation problems with your exports out of Adobe Premiere Pro? Well, unfortunately, Adobe is aware of it and they are trying to fix it in some way, but the problem still consists. So today I'm gonna walk you through a very quick how to make sure that your export actually looks like your video in your timeline. What's up everyone, this is Jason from EO7 Media. Today is gonna to be really quick because I think you deserve a really quick video, so let's just jump right in. All right guys, I know I tend to talk a little bit even though I said this is a quick video, so if you wanna know the exact quick as hell step-by-step -step process, go to this timestamp right here and you will get the fast walkthrough. All right, so before I jump into this and let you know exactly how to do it, the first very most important thing is to make sure that your screen is calibrated correctly. Now, all screens are a little bit different, so make sure you're using some kind of color calibration program like the Spider. I really love the Spider. I love it so much. Uh, I've been using it for years. It works great. Uh, I have three screens in my office. I'm about to get a fourth, but I need to make sure they're all color calibrated together. Otherwise, what I think looks great, of course, isn't gonna look good when I export. So make sure you're using some kind of color calibration to make sure that the image you are creating is actually the image that you are truly exporting. Now, let's jump into how to fix your issue. Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside my Premiere. I have a video that I have uh, color corrected, I've graded, I'm really happy the way it looks, but when I go to export the video and I have all my settings, I make sure my bit rate is right, I make sure all my settings over here are correct, I'm making sure I'm rendering at max depth, I'm making sure I'm using max uh, render quality, I'm doing all the stuff that I normally do, but even though when I export it, sometimes it'll be desaturated and kind of overblown. So the good news is it's a pretty damn easy fix and Adobe is aware of it. So open up your internet browser. Now the link for this page is down in the description below. Go ahead and click on that and you're gonna to go to this exact same page I am on right now where Adobe will walk you through what is going on, why it's happening, but really you're not concerned about this right now. You can read about this later when you're on the toilet instead of reading Garfield comics. So come back here, go down to number four and you're gonna see number uh, I here, download the gamma compensation LUT. You are going to download this, make sure you are uh, signed in. It's giving you all this code and stuff, but just go ahead and download it. So once you have it downloaded, let's move on. So whenever I download anything, I always make sure I download it to my download folder. So no matter what I'm downloading, I know exactly where it's at. Make sure you're doing something of the similar, whether it's on your desktop or whatever, you know where this is going to. All right, the next step is to go into your Adobe Premiere Pro edit everything, make sure that you're super happy with it, color grade everything the way you would normally. You are not going to use this new LUT yet. This LUT is only to be used in the exporting process, not during the grading process. Now, we're gonna go over to the export settings right over here. Now, to get to export, you can either hit the export itself or hit Control M, or I believe Apple M on Macs. I'm not a Mac guy, I'm sorry. But that'll take you into the exporting settings. Once you are here, what I always like to make sure is in my edit, I am running an in and out on all my exports so I know exactly what I'm doing because I always have extra stuff at, at the end here, as you can see. So I'm going to make sure I am running the right one. I'm going to hit Control M, go into edit, and I'm gonna make sure in my range right here, everything is set to source in and out. That's very important so you're not exporting extra junk that you're not supposed to be. Now, you've probably edited and exported a lot of stuff before, so I'm not gonna go over all the fine tuning. I will make other videos about this here very soon in the future with my settings that work best for me. Once you have everything set up and ready to go for your export, uh, you'll notice that the video tab right here is the one that's probably the most used, the one that's open all the time. So you're gonna go ahead and collapse that and go down to effects. You're gonna open effects, and then right here, the very first option is Lumetri Color slash LUT. You're gonna click on that. Here's where you can uh, click on the drop down menu, hit select. We are going to go to my downloads window where I had it before. And this is the QT Gamma Compensation or the correction LUT. And we're gonna select that. And it's going to say nothing is applied. Now this is really important because this threw me for a loop every time I did this. And I was like, why isn't it applied? It is, it absolutely is, it's there. So watch the image. I'm gonna click on Lumetri LUT and see how it got darker. So if I were to deselect this and take that LUT off, see how much brighter it is? 
I take, put this on, it's going to look darker. And it's actually going to look darker than you think it will or should, but it's going to correct how your image looks when you're exporting. Make sure that that is engaged and go ahead and hit uh, where you're sending it to. Now, I have a drive that is designated just for exports, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, name this real quick, John Engagement. I spelled it wrong. I'll fix it later. I'm going to hit export. And this is going to take a little bit, but basically what it comes down to is you are exporting your color corrected and graded video into the export settings. But then at the very end of that whole process, you're using this correction LUT to make sure that those highlights and the desaturation are pulled back so that uh, your image looks how it's going to look inside your editing software. All right, guys, that's how to apply the correction LUT to your exporting settings. Now, let's go through it really quick, step by step, and make this easy. First thing you're gonna do is go down to the description below, click on the link that says download the Adobe Correction LUT here. Once you're on the page, scroll down to number four. It's gonna be your first hyperlink right here. Download the Gamma Compensation LUT here. Download that to your download folder or desktop. Once you have that file downloaded, remember where it's gonna be at and come back to it in a second. Next, open up Adobe Premiere, make sure everything looks great, your grading is good, good to go, let's move on to exporting. All right, once you are in your exporting settings, make sure you set up how you want it to be set up, how your video needs to be set up. Collapse the video submenu, go down to the other submenu of effects, open up effects, click on the Lumetri color and LUT, go to the applied, you're gonna click on select, Go to where your compensation LUT is, double click that. It'll say none, but it doesn't matter. It's still implied. If I click this off, you can see it's brighter. If I click it on, it's a little bit darker. Go ahead and hit export and you're good. All right, guys, I hope that helped a lot. Stick around to watch the next video where this little bar right here in your source window, sometimes it'll go away and you can't figure it out. I figured out how to get it back. Super easy. I hope this helps. All right, guys, I've been Jason. Be better and do something awesome today. Bam!